All right, it is almost two o'clock. It is two hours before the festivities begin at Giga Texas. And I am getting the last little charge. It's a high usage supercharger going up to 80% only. So I'm gonna get a little extra juice and we are going to head over there significantly early. I'm gonna to try to get some drone shots. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but the party's almost ready to begin. I'm still, I'm still pinching myself that I'm even able to go to this. So um, we drove by the factory, it looks huge. I'll get a little bit of footage rolling into that. I'm excited to show you guys. It's gonna be one hell of a party. So this is what the road looks like just to the north of the Tesla factory. We've got these, like these berms here, these man-made berms. This is what was all over the Tesla property before they put the factory in, is just these big humps of dirt. And I believe this might be part of the land that they bought, but I'm not 100% sure. They did buy up a lot more property than just this, this part here where the factory is. But we are one mile from Tesla Road. So it begins, there's a few little red lines of traffic there already, and things are getting a little slow. But again, we're almost two hours ahead of the event start, so we're rolling in here very early. We're gonna be skipping a lot of the traffic. This truck is probably part of the Gigafactory property construction, but Tesla Road, right there, baby. All right, guys, we are rolling onto Gigafactory property right now. There's the big building right there. And again, we're early, but there's already a queue. Man, this is cool. I've seen this so many times, so many times in Joe Techmeyer's videos. That's surreal to see it in person from the ground. All right, so it is very convenient to have FSD Beta here in a long traffic queue. So we are on FSD Beta at Giga Texas. And by the way, we are behind a manufacturer plated Model Y. I wonder if this one was built here. Look at that beautiful blue color. That is gorgeous. All right, guys, we are in the parking lot here at Giga Texas. And there's the Giga factory behind me. I did get some drone shots. I'll be dropping those in the video, but we're about ready to walk over onto the other side. That's where all the festivities are. So it's gonna be a long walk. I think there's a trolley line up there so that might be a little easier but anyway super pumped to be here so this is the cyber rodeo this is the party for the opening of the tesla factory in austin texas notice the solar panels on the roof here you can kind of see the letter e of the word tesla that they will spell out on top Here's the party out front. There will be a later video that will show a lot of these festivities both during the day and at night. I've got a lot to show you guys. First, we're gonna do a factory tour for this video, and there will probably be a couple more videos with the stuff in the factory. There's just so much to show you in the casting, in the paint, in the interior stuff and in the products things. Man, there's so much cool stuff to get into. But I would like to thank the Tesla owners of Tennessee team for bringing me along on this. I have joined them as their, their media and comms director. So I'll be making a lot more videos here about Tesla. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. Let's get into the factory. So here's where you get your QR code scanned after security. What's up folks? Oh man, you guys got swag bags for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs> Have fun, enjoy. It. Appreciate it. <laughs> this is the Giga Factory. They've got bathrooms out front. Awesome. There's the overhead power lines we see in all the drone videos. This thing is huge. Like in person, it's like walking up to the wall on Game of Thrones. This thing is huge. They've got some destination chargers here, and there's one charging right now. Here's the entrance. We're about to walk into 
the actual Gigafactory. I can hardly believe this is happening. Whoa. This is going to be lit. This is where you get tours. Check out the stage. Sweet. This is going to be really cool. So one weird thing that Tesla does, which really gives it a huge advantage over any other kind of manufacturer is these huge casting machines. So this thing with the red and the white and the long cylinders, that will make an entire chunk of a car at one time. And it takes it less than half a second to do that. It makes it out of aluminum. So this huge press makes an enormous chunk of the car at one time. It's mind blowing. Nobody else does that. And they really made the point and drove it home that what used to be over a hundred parts is now a single part and requires much less of a assembly line. And here are those castings. They have them in this stack here. These are all Model Y underbody castings. You can see that arch there. That's where the wheel goes and then the seats kind of mount to that thing as well and it connects to the battery. But this factory was enormous. They really greeted us with the casting system up front. This chunk here is something that goes and injects molten aluminum into the mold. And I will go back to the audio from the day here because this is pretty neat. It was built for Tesla by the company Idra and that's an Italian company. Elon said they called the six casting machine companies in the world, five said no. And Idra said, maybe. And here's the result of that maybe. It is real life. This machine makes enormous chunks of cars at once. I was super wowed by it. Let's go back to the audio. And here's the bar. and these incredible castings. This is one of the reasons that Tesla has a manufacturing advantage, is they can make a whole underbody of a car at once. That's what these are. Something very psychedelic is going on over there. And again, this factory is just absolutely enormous. So you see those little things hanging from this frame? Those are the aluminum ingots to make that single piece underbody casting. And here they show all the separate parts that it used to be. They had to put those all together piece by piece with robots. So it reduces the number of robots. And again, an example of an underbody with the casting ingots hanging above it. And those just shoot that one underbody in one piece.
pretend to know what everything is that I'm looking at. But I do know these are components to what looks like a Model Y. that we saw hanging on those racks with some seats on it, put it in context. the safest cars in the world. Tesla Model Y.
gonna go to drive unit? This building is so big, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film it all in one take. I'll get more.